Hello, good morning. I'm here at Mitaka Station, just about 200 meters up the trail. Uh, today I'm hiking up to uh, Iwatake Ishiyama, um, about a four and a half, five hour hike, hopefully, um, with three peaks. Um, and it should be quite nice, quite quiet. Um, the train was quite busy, but I'm the only one on this trail. Um, so it should be good. It is December 13th, so it's quite cool, sort of layered up, but I'll probably need to de-layer because it is quite steep. Um, yeah, should be a good hike. <laughs> So there's two paths, one looks quite nice, and the other one incredibly steep. So I'm not sure which to take. I believe they both go to the same place, but if I'm wrong, this will be knackering for no reason. So I'm going to take the easy way. Typical me. So. So we are here, here was Mitake station, here's the start of the hike, here's the first peak, and there's the aim, the goal. So along the path here, um, at a sort of junction, we came across something quite interesting, which is these hanging origami. And in Japanese, they are called uh, yorishiro, and often these are wrapped around trees. It's actually not so often you see them between trees, um, but they are used to attract. Kami, 
um, which are spirits in the Shinto religion. So I'm not sure if this means that in this direction, which is our direction, there is going to be a temple or a shrine, or perhaps it's just due to how magnificent these two trees are on either side. But um, let's see. So here you have two options. You can go straight to Mount Takamizu, 3.5 kilometers, all the way we're going to Mount Sogaku and on to Iwata Kaishi. That's where we're going. And there's a lovely little shrine, which means I was correct. not sure where the path goes. This says be careful. But be careful where? Okay. I think I can see a path down there. So I just need to go across this bacon as fuck traverse to get there. Right. Not so bad, just the type of scramble that's much easier up than down. But two minutes tops. These um, sort of small clusters of bamboo, they can be quite frightening when you're hiking on your own because as the wind goes through them it sounds like somebody is walking through them or something. Um, so in a country full of bears and warthogs and god knows what else, it's quite frightening when you, you kind of stop and think, shit, what is that? And then it's just the wind and you feel like an absolute idiot. Oh well, what a beautiful day.
beautiful open sunshine. Du -du -du. Darkness. So here it is, the summit of our goal today, whose name escapes me again, um, Iwa Take Ishiyama. So amazing views, this direction you can see the city, and if you look this way to the west, you can actually, with the binoculars, make out some snow-capped mountains way in the background. So just off the path to Ikusabata Station, which is the, the final uh, stop on this hike, um, just off to the left there is a temple um, whose name I haven't seen in Japanese. The kanji says like Changfu Yuen, so like um, I don't know, auspicious courtyard or something like that. Um, but let's check it out. Takomizu Yama Temple or something Fuku N. Really cool. One of the things that makes hiking in Japan just so incredible is that you always discover these really cool little shrines and sometimes even quite big temples. 